In early November 2016, there was outrage on social media when someone posted this video showing a female vendor being brutally bundled onto a pickup truck alongside her two children by law enforcement officers of Kampala Capital City Authority in downtown Kampala. <laughs> The woman was arrested for allegedly vending on the street without a license. A few days later, KCCA suspended two of the law enforcers who participated in the eviction as investigations were launched into the matter. For some time now, there has been debate on why KCCA law enforcers act in such a brutal manner manhandling suspects because there have been many such cases. According to the Minister for Kampala, Betty Olive Nami Sangokamia, corruption among law enforcers has led to such scaffolds. They work under very hostile environment, yes, but some of that is promoted by their own corruption. Because you take money from people, and when I crack the whip, you go and send people off the street. You who have taken their money. She spoke to NTV after meeting the law enforcers at the KCCA head office at City Hall to address their concerns. The enforcers spoke candidly on some of their challenges. People interrupt, uh, interpret corruption. Uh, it's not very clear. How, how are we corrupt? Arresting them and taking them to court and they are giving them the fines, the, is that how we are corrupt? Oh. In situations where they have been seen to be high-handed, like was the case of the video that went viral, sometimes the people they are dealing with are very difficult. The moment you are here, they go and hide in the building. The moment you take a step, they come. So the whole day, year round, that's the, the monkey tricks you are playing. The minister vowed to take action on corrupt law enforcers. Ask the law enforcement people to keep away from corruption because the whip will crack on corruption. But a few days ago, while reacting to the viral video, Kamiya seemed to agree with the law enforcers, saying that sometimes they are caught between a rock and a hard place in handling some people. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.